Hey, what's going on guys? It's the Rudolphin here, and in today's video, I'm going to be talking about why Epic Games will have to vault the mech, and why it's going to ruin Fortnite if they don't. And guys, if you enjoyed this video at all, please like and subscribe and hit that notification bell. And yeah, let's just get right into this video. Alright, so at the start of Season X, which came out yesterday, there was a new vehicle introduced, and that's called the Mech or the Brute, whichever you like to call it. But this vehicle is basically a big tank. This Mech has a total of 1000 HP. This Mech also has a shotgun rocket launchers, a shield, and the ability to stomp people. Like, this thing is overpowered enough without a shotgun and a rocket launcher or missiles attached to it, but they decided that they're just gonna make it overkill. I really don't know why Epic Games would do this. I mean, I have one possible reason, and that's because Epic Games took out all of the mobility so the only mobility in the game right now is the mech, launch pads, shockwaves, and bouncers possibly that might be in the files. But besides those three things, there's no other mobility. So I guess Epic Games just thought it would be a good idea to throw in a robot with a thousand HP that has a shotgun and missiles to make up for the ballers being vaulted. No, the ball is being vaulted is not the only reason they did this. But if this is Epic's way of replacing the baller, uh, I think I want to get the baller back because now garbage players can use this to their advantage and get a lot more wins when they're not the better player. So it's basically a helping hand for the bad players, which is not good for the good players who put in time uh, into their gameplay. So Epic tried to put this uh, robot into the game as movement or uh, another way of mobility, but really this is just a super overpowered robot that noobs use to get a bunch of kills. I have died to so many bots already this season in this new mech because they just land on it and they get it right away and they just start destroying everything in their path. It's literally insane. It's probably the worst thing added to Fortnite, and thank god that it's going to be vaulted. Epic Games is literally just going to have to reverse what they did and put some of the mobilities back into the game because of this mech. You can also team with other players in the mech, so I don't know if you can get banned for it or not, but in a solo, there's two seats and you can be the driver and someone else can be the gunner if they wanted to. So like I just said, I don't know if you can get banned or have a consequence if you do this in a solo or not. So do not try it out, don't get banned. But yeah, just imagine being in a solo arena or like a solo tournament and you just see two people coming at you in a mech. Now that's obviously not going to happen because they are most likely if epic games is smart which i hope they are they are going to disable this vehicle in any tournaments if they did that though i feel like they would put one mobility item back into the game like i said if epic games does not do something about these mechs everyone's just going to leave because the noobs are going to take over but we all know that's not going to happen because fortnite does care about their competitive scene and they are definitely not going to have these in tournaments. Imagine seeing a whole trio of mechs just heading towards you. Yeah, Epic Games would get so many complaints from pro players and just anyone in the tournaments if they allowed the mechs to be in there. If Epic Games does have the mechs still in competitive games and tournaments, uh, I feel like they would be smart about it and take out or take off the weapons from the mech so it's more like a mobility instead of like an offensive or defensive weapon. So Epic Games is sort of like forced in a bad position because they are either going to have to remove the mech altogether or nerf it in some way. If they don't do this Fortnite's simply just going to die. Another reason why it's going to get buffed in some way 
is because it has a thousand health. No other vehicle or item has had that much health. And there's really no way of killing it unless you just spray the crap out of it. I will give you guys one tip though. If you do throw a boogie bomb at the mech, it will force the players that are inside of the mech to get out. So after they get out, you can take over the mech and just destroy them with all the missiles and the shotgun. So yeah, there's a little tip for countering mechs. You can thank me later for that. Just kidding. If you want to be nowhere near the max till like late game or later on in the game, then just look where the mechs are landing and land somewhere that is very far away from there. Or you could just land at the meteor that is right outside of the factories by Dusty and they cannot reach you up there at all. But if you are forced by the zone, you will have to get down. I feel it's really dumb that Epic Games took out most mobili mobility items and they put in the mech because you have to use a bunch of mobility items to get away from the mech. So basically if you're fighting a mech and you don't have boogie bombs or a way to get out then you're basically screwed. I would suggest always having boogie bombs on you because the spawn rate of these mechs are literally insane. I think out of every single match there's a total of 8 or 10 mech spawns. So if you're scared of the mechs or just want to be precautious, just always carry around boogie bombs because boogie bombs are like it's kryptonite. If you have boogie bombs you're set to win the game. Not really but it's a very helpful thing to carry around with you. Right now they have the mechs in competitive Fortnite like arena but once tourneys start happening and starting back up i doubt that they will be in it so don't worry too much it is good though to prepare for the worst like if the mechs are going to be in the tourneys if this does happen like i said before Fortnite's gonna get a lot of backlash and this is going to lead to them vaulting it or nerfing it in some way while you are inside of the mech, you also don't take any splash damage. So like if you shoot any of the missiles close to you, it won't damage the mech or you. That may be one of the things that Fortnite nerfs about the mech and it, they might make it to where your character or the mech takes more damage. Fortnite is also 100% or Epic Games, sorry. Uh, Epic Games is also 100% going to nerf the insane amount of health that the mech has. They are going to do this because this is the very first item in Fortnite that has had so much health and new players don't know how to counter that and I feel like Fortnite cares more about their new players so they're going to nerf that part of the mech. Epic Games also might nerf the amount of rockets that the mech has. So as of right now, the mech can shoot a total of 10 rockets at a time. So it's like a big huge swarm of missiles coming at you. So I think Epic Games is going to lower that number to about 5 or 3. 10 is just way, way, way too much. And I've tried turbo building against it. And it is very hard. Half of the time, I would die. The combinations on the mech, like the missiles and the shotguns, how you can shoot those both at the same time and have your partner who's controlling the mech stomp, you literally cannot stop this robot. Doesn't matter how much you turbo build, doesn't matter how many times you shoot it, you are just never going to beat that competition. Of course, unless you have a boogie bomb. Epic Games needs to make this robot or mech have more weaknesses and vulnerabilities. And I feel like Epic Games is going to do that by making like the players that are inside of the mech more exposed and like easier to kill. Because right now the players can have shields and barriers, so Epic Games might disable those. And yeah, that's pretty much all the overpowered things about this new mech and why Fortnite is going to vault it.
or nerf it. If you all enjoyed this video and made it this far, let me know in the comments and also please hit the like and the sub and I'll see you all next time.